Your body is banging, baby. I love the way you're flowing. It's time to give it to daddy. Sugar, now tell me how you want it. And, 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 and they eliminated plastic bags hey, for a reason right, because got, got they were to, covering. Man. Listen, when they were outside, they were out. They were outside and they would go in the ground, and you'd be there 20 years later looking back, and there's still plastic bags on the ground. That's not going anywhere. Yeah, That's, yeah, yeah. And the same thing with like styrofoam. They don't break down. None of that stuff. If you notice when you smash up styrofoam, it gets everywhere. It's just like all that stuff and rubber too. Wait, put rubber in the ground and see how long it lasts till it's gone. Then you're gonna be there forever. Waiting it's, gonna for it. it's gonna be stuck in the ground. It's gonna be stuck in the ground, blocking things from growing, blocking blocking worms from coming through the ground. They're gonna be like, what the heck is this? All right, we'll go around it. That's how it is. If everybody put rubber right down, all the worms would die. And if you put rubber on the ground too much spots, all the grass would die. That's what happens at the dump. So you throw stuff in the dump. There's rubber, plastic bags, this, styrofoam, and nothing's growing, nothing's happening. Right. It's just and you know what they, you know what, what they did is, is they would do that and make the big pot. Then they'd come in with truckloads and dump but the dirt reason. all over it. No, they put the dirt all over it, is what they, they did. Done it. No. And then they planted it shit. Now you look, it looks like there's a mountain. But you can't just fill up the whole earth with all that stuff. You can't do that. It's just underneath there like a bunch of rocks sitting there. Yeah, and, 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 and the way the dirt's did? crunching. You know what they also did? Right, yeah. not, not too close by, near the falls, they put a bunch of uh, d um, you know, waste underneath the ground and it came up and gave everybody cancer. Yeah. And it still does to this day. Just yeah. actually two years ago, it started giving people cancer again. Yeah. You can't just throw stuff on the ground, up down. Oh, yeah, it comes right. back to you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So that idea was about years ago. <laughs> but that's, that's chemicals. Yeah. That was all the way in the 1900s. Well, that's see, like then they had the, the idea instead of putting it in the, the soil, they threw it in the ocean. And it's then awesome we realized oh, how works. valuable yeah. and yeah, in valuable, or in irreplaceable yeah. our oceans and yeah. our plant life is. And you now what do we do with that? We have all this literal crap. I know what they're doing with it, but it wouldn't be cheap. How do you stop making it? You have to make things that well, are actually you know, biodegradable. You know like, what it is? is? Fact. So, who came up with styrofoam? Idiots. Straight idiots. Oil companies. And they came up with the plastic. Whoever made rubber, and plastic, and, plastic. and styrofoam is idiots. Well, you, Wait, you don't make oil that. companies. All that stuff is man-made things. Wait, Why would you use it? Right, but it comes things? from oil. Yeah, plastics. plastics it comes from plastic oil. Plastic that, that's a good thing. But rubber, you can't, how do you, who recycles rubber? Try to find a rubber recycling plant. There is not. You try to find a plastic bag recycling plant. Exactly, too stupid. Exactly, so you know they aren't they trying to they need some tires and things like that? You need well, a chipper. That, that, yeah, that what they're doing they're doing with tires. They, they're using that material to make other tires, this, that, and all that. That's cool, but most situations with rubber, they don't they don't reuse yeah, it. Yeah, they should just chop it all fucking up in a chopper and then make them them pads like like what I bought. <laughs> A chopper? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. rubber like it. Like it. But they're not Yeah, you get little they tiny pieces. Stuff. But it's, it's uh, you know what you is. do with styrofoam? Uh, if, if you take styrofoam, styrofoam and a yeah, you take styrofoam and take yourself a little paint can and, and put some gas in there and start throwing styrofoam in there. Watch what happens. The only thing is be careful when you're done because you're making something that's real nasty and I don't want to tell you what it is. So. <laughs> Why would you make it? To get rid of the styrofoam. And then what you do then is Well, you end up with, with a whole lot of styrofoam will be gone and you're only going to have a little bit of nasty. Oh yeah, so start and so start encouraging that everywhere and getting it known. So get on social media, start making sure everybody know that. Get out, uh, get yeah. on like like also. Then they're probably gonna find out what it's bad, bad. And then I don't know if I want it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. So, so then you don't do that. That's what I'm saying. It's not gonna work now because then people are gonna have some bad substance that that no one should have. You make the styrofoam. The plant that gets rid of the styrofoam is what you do. You take the styrofoam. Uh, yeah, but, but you gotta. And you don't tell nobody nothing what listen, you're doing with it. But listen, listen. If you did what I did, like they said, you should have. They said if you really, really try, you can have about this much garbage in a whole year if you really try. How much garbage do we get in a year? About uh, 800 bags. They say, studies show, if you recycled everything you could, reused everything you could, if you just clean everything, keep doing everything, and did everything efficiently, you could have about this much garbage a year. It's saving the planet. Really. Is. If you had that much garbage a year, every person only had this much garbage a year. You know what? You can literally have this thing by the way. You have to do it that year. You have to go from this to this, this, this. President Jeremy can tell them that they, <laughs> that they need to put in a train track, a high, a high speed train going from all the way from Maine and you're running all the way down by Washington State where the volcanoes are, where the volcanoes are, and you just dump that.
straight off the conveyor and it just melts in the motion. Oh, that uh, shit. But it's also going to go back up. It's going to be melted yeah, into nothing. It's going to be burned and melted. Let me tell you what that's going to cause, though. That's going to cause, gonna cause, gonna cause um, more of the ozone layer to be destroyed. And that's also going to cause, once it explodes up, you're going to have a lot of different chemicals and stuff like this that's going to make it almost like not only hot fire magma flying down at your house and this, that, and everything, but you're also going to have chemical fire and lava coming at your houses. Now, do you want chemical fire and lava coming at your houses? Or is regular fire and lava coming yeah. at your houses? Let you me, don't want that. Let me ask you. How do you melt the rock? How do you melt the rock? You can, yeah, you Man can melt can't rock. melt rocks. Yeah, but you can't. But those, that's molten fucking yeah. rock. So I'm telling you what, rocks are melting, and we can't even do yeah. that. But throw it in there, and you ain't got to worry about nothing. It's yeah, but what happens to styrofoam when you throw it yeah. in molten rock? You or, make it. But that's all going to melt. That How is it going to melt? It's rock. chemicals. Chemicals don't break down unless they break down in water, uh, hence biodegradable. Uh, a liquid. Oil is not biodegradable. Oil is not biodegradable. It doesn't break down in water. Let's learn about chemistry a little bit. You can't get rid of certain things. Just, well, it just doesn't yeah. disappear ever. You know, there's nothing you want to do well, to make this Because they don't know how to melt rocks. Yes, if they, they don't know how to melt the rock, how are they going to put that much heat on it to see what happens? Listen, trust me. They they know Who that knows? you throw a rock. Scientists know that if you take a rock and throw it in a volcano, it's going to disappear. The closest Listen, they came was a laser beam on a rock, and it can hold it, hold it, hold it, and it was but that ain't melting. That ain't melting it. I understand that. But trust and me, the only other thing they ever do is sit there with a fucking torch and then it pops the part with the moisture and gets in your eyes. But other than that, you're not melting that rock. You think you're the first person in the whole world to take the throw a rock in a volcano? What do they put around the What do they put around the stove to hold the heat in? Rocks and oh, cement. You and really break. think that you're the first person in the whole world to ever that ever existed to throw a rock into a volcano? Are you kidding me? You think you're the first person to throw up that ever did to throw a rock in a volcano? No. I so don't think that might all your think people bad. They didn't thought of that. Well, then they're just work. pretty stupid to do it. It doesn't work. It's it not going to work. Yeah, yeah so why? Because they're not no, going to work. You'd have to shoot okay. it. You'd have to have like a conveyor belt on and shoot. Who's building a, a conveyor belt on a volcano while it's going to start exploding and destroy their, their conveyor belt? That'd be such a waste of money. Like, it would have to be a certain distance you, you above have, it. And then they're still going to have to walk up the volcano. It's just, <laughs> that's I stupid. wouldn't want to get that close. I mean, it's probably like touching the sun. I mean... No, you wouldn't be close. That's why you... But how would your, you build yeah, the exactly. conveyor belt? <laughs> yeah. well, you, you just, just get the conveyor belt up. real close to the top. You don't go in it and Do just let the shit... you know how far it shoots down? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where that idea come from. That's the dumbest idea. That's the dumbest idea. That's the only spot you can put it to get rid of it. You can't throw the ocean. You can't throw it in the sky. That's the smartest it sounds. Let's go and compare about to a black hole. One, you will never get there. People Two, throw mad do, stuff in um, sinkholes. From my point, no. My Where point does that go? I know, it goes to the earth. But do you ever watch on TV and see the guys walking so around? So what is that doing? They, they walk around this, near those that 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 well, you don't put it to one every, every two weeks. It doesn't matter. Yes, you can't control it. Yeah, no, I you know. Try you, to to you would just, all you need is one that's been inactive for, for a long time and just that start That probably means it's going to be active soon. Well, but so that's the chance you, you take. You no, got to do it for 100 or 200 years. Right, but if you disrupt the life cycle of a volcano, what are you doing to the tectonic plate? Yeah. yeah, you wouldn't be. Yeah, yeah you would earthquakes. because earthquakes are can be caused by volcano eruptions. Yes, yeah, massive earthquakes. Landslides, you mudslides. You wouldn't be. You wouldn't be increasing nothing. If anything, you'd be decreasing. Yeah, you would because, because you're putting more weight. Yeah, you're putting more you're weight, which causes the plates to go all on a tectonic plate. That's going to shifting things. You're gonna have. You're gonna yeah. have okay. all sorts of things. That's like tsunamis. when a mosquito yeah. lands on your arm. Oh, that's. Right this up, man. Listen, no, think of the size of the Okay, take an elephant, take a pimple on his ass. That's the volcano. Did you now, know? how's that volcano gonna kill the elephant? No, listen, I'm you dead. Gotta, if you I'm so dead. Oh, no, you're not gonna so pimple dead. on the elephant. 
Listen, listen, listen. There you go. Did you know that volcanoes? Did you know that volcanoes cause to tornadoes, tsunamis? They also cause earthquakes. Yes. We have oh, hundreds and hundreds of tornadoes that don't destroy the earth. We have volcanoes erupting all the time. Have you ever looked online? The have you ever looked online? The tornadoes destruction, tsunamis destruction, hurricane destruction, yeah. all that for, stuff. For a couple of miles, and again, it's a pimple on an elephant. Just see you in Florida when there's the next uh, tornado destruction. You know, Florida Gator Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Florida Gator Tornado or whatever. Just wait until the big earthquake, the plate that we're under right now, goes up, and you're gonna tell me, oh, that don't destroy nothing. Well, it's right ours here. Is not a huge one, but it just never goes off. And if once it does, though, it has in the started. last 30 years. But now, I've been alive yeah. for that. Wait, yeah, well, oh. there has been earthquake. Google it. Yeah, a couple of them are. Really but my point is, when I was but in middle really school, place. there was so a sonic boom near my school. You're going to regret what you're saying. All that stuff don't do anything. Well, trust me, you'll see. It does. Yeah. You're just in a spot that you're lucky right now. <laughs> well, that's how it is all around the world. Yeah, you yeah, can just start going and moving every yeah, single time. What is there, one or two plates? One or two plates, yeah, but it's so what? Good, though, wait, 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 I'm talking to my Mr. Scientist. Right here, there's a bunch of plates, but there's like really big Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Uh, a bunch of them in this area, and, the one really big one, one. and the one big one's gonna make this thing, right? It could, yeah. Okay. 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 You don't know. So, so if I go a hundred miles, is there any place? Yeah. A bunch of them? Yeah. And could they go? Yeah. Okay, and if I go another hundred miles? Yeah, but so the there's the elephant. Again with the pimple. The rest of the elephant ain't hurt. Yes, but along those lines, you're not darling. killing an elephant even off. if you pop four or five of those. Did you know that when one goes off, that little can go off? Yeah. So he gets four zits out of it. Yeah. And now he's got another one. And he's got another one. No, now he's got an acne issue and he goes to the dermatologist to get acne medicine. I'm just saying. But if he sits down and he stays there, those zits turn into what? Sores. They okay. become infested. They become more and more. Especially since elephants don't really get much bats. And their only bats are going in dirty water. There's a whole dirty bunch of bacteria. There's a whole bunch of fish in their eyes from this. And that could get infected, and they don't get the infected treated, and it could die. I don't know what you're talking about. You're not in a good stance right here. Let's All it takes is one little pimple yes, and it to become a irritated death. and okay. infected. Okay, let's make the elephant the Jeep, and you're talking a chip paint. Yes, oh, okay. that's the oh, no. the oh, yep. and it's going to yes, cause a cause problem. Rust, yeah. cause and you'll have a little hole. And, and you'll, you'll have it. rust. Yeah, and so it'll down. corrode and it'll eat you, through, you and then you'll have a hole. Okay, one more scenario. <laughs> You're losing. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Like, wait, just stop. Wait, this is the one that's going to you up. Right no, here. Darling. No, yes, it is. No. You got a bigger problem. Yeah. You're gonna be Dude. gone in a hundred years. You ain't gonna be around. Now, how are you gonna fix that problem? You teach your You're worried about the planet kids. being around for a million. You have to teach, just like you, continue your generation and my generation are yeah. teaching yeah. this generation how to well, take care of it. He because don't act like I'm our, good or like he's a mini me. He, listen, he stop. Things get better every, Wait, every generation. Second, Did you not realize that so far? Every generation has fucked up this planet. Fact. Okay, but it, but it so it's what we do. We're not borrowing it from them. We're borrowing it from them. Well, no, I get it. We're teaching them how to the, listen, create the a world we're and missing. fix the issues, the issues, the issues that the they created. The issues that will fix. Right. Because guess what? We'll, not find th we'll do things that we didn't know were bad, such as, you know, right. the phones, such as vaping. This is all that stuff. Uh, right. And guess what's going to happen? Is it's gonna in the generation after that, because they're gonna see all the mistakes we make. Right. So it just keeps getting fixed, right. and then eventually, eventually. Alcoholism, you know, drugs. Okay, okay. Here's another guy. Yeah. Alcohol. No, you already <laughs> lost. <Just> stop. <laughs> no, wait. Forty years before I was. Wait. Stuff. Forty years before me, they needed a well. They needed horses. All that horses. Right, and but you can reuse horse shit. It was more than 40. What? Before I was born? 40 years before I was yeah. born? No, it yes, it was. 1910 is when. Well. Indian Neb's got a well. You know they they had, still got well. You know so I don't want to hear that there was a lot of people with wells. There was a lot of people, but I'm saying. Everyone had a well back in 1910. They literally just brought the.
Since toilet like, into what, the house. 1890, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. That's, you're telling me that you were born. No, in the but, but when they invent one car, they got you millions and millions something. of people in one car. That that ain't the norm. I understand that, but they and still even when they have 200 either. cars selling a year, that still only meant 200 people out of millions. I know. So yeah, you except, still had to horse the wagons the 20s well. And 30s, uh, for that well, <laughs> and the, the, the toilets and the and water, running water and all that. What is it like 40s and 50s? It was I know. Going in. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, everybody that, wanted a car. Yeah, they, they, yeah, yeah, they wanted a just, car over there, over that. Yeah, I know. Well, but I'm just telling you. So, so you know, went from well water. In the 40s, and shit they were coming out point? with new technology. What's the point? My point is now you got better than like Aunt did well water. Go drink that. Okay, it's got well, sulfur in there. Why do you think I Right, and look at, they didn't have all this recycling years ago. Now they got they've got the big uh, places that take the shit metal. And it, I know. Well, I'm, no, it's because that's because more options listen, to make money. If you can right, take away listen, to make money, you're doing it. Before I was born, they didn't well, recycle much. This conversation has caught so many people's attention. Well, my point is, a year before I was born, they barely had any recycling stuff. Hold up, no, that's yet. not true, oh, because, no, no, because I've been barely recycling any. my entire adult life. I, I understand that, but barely any people were doing it, though. Well, you're no, because people, like, my neighbors, I mean, I even got my mom, my dad into it. You want to know what? Recycling got big Ooh, in, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. in the, the, er, the, in the 90s. Times. Well, in the no. 80s, no. into no. the 90s. They started doing it more. No, because no. when we realized oh, in the, the 80s one. that Wait. things were going wrong, Wait. you know, so far, they so realized that, is. you know, hold on one second. They realized that the car was causing the right. ozone <laughs> issues. We realized aerosol is not yeah. good. Yeah. Plastics are killing. Yes. Everything. And then we were doing They were taking stuff. down trees and we oh. started to recycle, reduce, and reuse. Did you yes. just say plastic is killed? Hey, yeah, it does. Yeah. That's why they have to recycle. Now, wait a minute. It's hey, killing hey, animals, hey, hey, it's wait. killing trees, it's yeah, killing everything. Why do they say recycling is a good thing if plastic is Because recycling. they're reusing it. Yeah. Because it. you're hey. not what you using call? it. At yeah, your age, me running around with truck, gigging all the newspapers, magazines out of the garbage, the metal bicycles. I was, and they were driving the truck, and you had to go garbage to garbage. What do you think that was? Was that recycling, or you think that was just good exercise? Yeah, that was recycling, but you were doing it to make money, not to recycle. And what's easier? What you were doing it to make money, not to recycle. Or going around picking it up and putting it in a truck like I had. It's different. You're doing it to make money, not to recycle. What do you think the recycle plants are doing? Making money? I understand that, but they realized, oh wait, we're helping you and making money. Oh, right, right. That wasn't your idea. Your idea was to make money. Well, so you're being a doctor. Now you're going to no, get to help not. people? Oh, that's it's nice. It's not. That's, you mean, that's oh, not. You never said 500 people. dollars. No, I, I think I did, it's more along the lines of a perk. Cool. Because, because honestly, if he's money, passionate right? about helping other people, yeah. finding things it to help to other people yes, live longer, live healthier, longer, more sustainable life. only made me $20,000 a year, I still do it. Did you not hear me say that before? I've said that many times. I don't care about the money. Don't matter. It's a perk. Yeah, that's cool. But he's got to drive cool. himself, cool. you know, back and forth to I got to do a lot of things. Because on top of that, too, I got to build my own business so that I can, ha so that I can have my own surgery place. And on top of that, too, of, you know, be a professor and all that stuff and have the bakery for Taylor. Oh. Oh, Taylor's going to be my partner. She ain't got no problem with that. Yeah. For a but like, but well, my, yeah, point, no, my point is this: I'm gonna be the one buying the building. Nah, you ain't gonna worry about that. I'm buying the building. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm gonna be the one that buys that building. Okay. The building I'm gonna have with that, with my doctor's office, with the bakery. Oh, I'm probably bakery a house on top of it. Going I like that idea. But see what I'm saying though? <laughs> so uh, that money's gonna go to good use. Yeah, and guess what? Then I'm helping it. people get nice, good bakery stuff, and I'm gonna make sure that it's actually and I'm gonna have a healthy but tasty. And I'm gonna have people I'm gonna have people help people with their surgery and stuff, and be a professor teaching the medical profession so that other people can do what I did. And on top of that too, I'm gonna still be recycling. Uh, here's the idea. So there were the recycling plants in the back. He's gonna have his tree You're garden. You're gonna have to have two <laughs> display cases. I'm dead. You're gonna have to have the good so dead. and the healthy <laughs> here. And then if they want healthy, they can look in this one. And they want the good you know, no, listen, you want to know what I want to do, which the, the, right now the world doesn't really do, is... Uh, nutrition facts. No, make the nutritious <laughs> stuff cheaper, and the stuff that's bad for you expensive. 
Go. It already came in. No, it's not. That's all. Cigarettes, but see, everything in moderation. What people don't understand and why people are so. No, is there's obsessive compulsive disorder, whether it's healthy or not. I don't know if it's really healthy, but people spend mad money on chocolate covered nuts and chocolate oh, covered but like the thing is fried that, dough the thing like is this, when things are everything in moderation a lot of times cheap when it's good for you like fruit this you know, organic fish, it's all more it's expensive, like that, it's expensive because more goes into it and less people are doing it yeah exactly but and it, that's now, the problem because cheaper, there should be, be more organic if it was cheaper more people would be eating it because a lot of the reasons, listen, <coughs> I would have loved to got an apple and been a nice guy, a bunch of energy and everything, but apple's more expensive than going to Burger King and getting one of their uh, breakfast burritos for a dollar. And apple, if apples are too much money, I can't afford to get one apple and not get full up. Because, <laughs> like, I can't. Like, if it was, like, ten cents for an apple and a dollar for the thing, it'd be different. I'd be able to get a bunch of apples and be all good for the whole day. Yeah, there was only one problem with it. Now, if they were ten cents an apple, who going to... And take and pay taxes on their property, grow stupid apple trees, and pick those and put them out front for ten cents a day. I understand that, but my point is, so let's jam chemicals in it, freeze it, oh. change it up into something else, then, then put it on a griddle kids. and sell it to these kids. There you go. You're gonna kill the person. What about that so long as That's natural. why when dude got fat at McDonald's and almost had a heart attack and died, he sued McDonald's. Because it's cheaper, it's faster, and yeah, there's a lot of problems. With it. That's why I prefer to cook. Yeah, <laughs> see what I'm saying? Well, car. Yeah, because when you that's what that's actually what Miss Ted said. Miss Ted said, um, if you want to have any junk food ever, make it yourself. One, you're not going to have time to make it, and like as much by as the you time can, you get to make it, you're go not going to have it. Yeah, and that too, and you'll eat a lot less because it takes so much longer to make stuff. And you're not going to be as greens. hungry to eat that's it because it took so long that's to it. make and it. And it's a lot more filling. If you notice, that, I don't know if you know, but a lot of things with preservatives, you can eat a lot of it for some reason. It makes you because feel your sick. stomach's not this, breaking it down. This and that and everything. And the thing is, it's so bad for you and everything. And you continue to keep eating it. It's cheaper. It's this. It's that. It's like that's just so much issues all going into. It. If you just made it, every, a lot of things are resolved. Well, it's well not when really I have chicken and stuff, you're like, that's no good. I've got to take the preservative. I said bad food, but I don't like, I don't like that, I don't like your food, you just don't know how to make food. I stopped making it. Yeah, because so you don't have no food. What are you talking about? He's one of the best people I know when it hits the grill. Grill, you know, he can pull off grill, but he can't pull off anything else like in the kitchen. Like when there's a microwave, a stove, an oven, uh, oh. an air fryer, this and that, he, he falls off. He <laughs> make good burgers, what are you talking about? On the grill. No, I'm sorry. Uh, no, no. yeah, there's a lot better. I've, I've tasted a lot better cooks than that. Well, there's all oh, speaking of burgers. Yeah, you wanted in the eat burger. There's like I told you that you just nuke them up. Like, we just cooked them yesterday. Six of them, and then we ate four. Stop using the microwave. That's another. That, that's another. Thing. That wrecks. Just, uh, that well, wrecks all your food. Not on a hamburger. All of it. Not all of it. All of it. You it use, turns, it mutates it because it's nuclear. No, it ain't it ain't nuclear. Yes, it is. It ain't. You know what it's doing? It's moving the positive and the negative electrons in the food, and it creates heat by friction. Is all it does. Because then when what it's it, just, no, absolutely not. Time, it, it's not. It's safe microwaves, darling. Right. It is it, literally it, transforming. Those, no, what that does is it moves the electrons, the positive and negative electrons, and it makes heat like going like this, and that's what heats it up from the inside out. Okay. Okay, yeah. so wait, put a piece of chicken the in the microwave, and it doesn't it. come out. Oh, they get chicken. rubbery. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that. Because it's changing the basic structure of the food. Well, it's like boiling chicken. No, if it's not. If you put not. it on a grill, it ain't going to taste like boiled. No. If you throw it in a broiler, it tastes different than there. If you throw it in butter on a pan and chop it up, it tastes different. Right, Give but it it's to not going to turn my food rubbery. Like chicken. And it's still going to be safe to eat. Right, and so it's a microwave. If you they think, had a microwave that no. you can sit in, you'd get cancer. If, if you're outside the microwave, you're usually good because they made it where it yeah, can't, can't transmit and all that. Right. But that's what I'm saying. But, how but good standing in front and of it can it still off. cause problems. If you're there all the time, you're there all the time. But still, but even if you don't, don't and you're sitting there, you can still get uh, in, or affected by it. Just like secondhand smoke. You're not smoking, nope. but you're breathing in. But that, that was more of when they first made microwaves. Now they made it to where it's safe to be around them. Mm. Nah. The thing is... But it's still is, not safe for your food. In, yeah, inside the microwave is the bad part. Yeah, but once it's off, once it's... Yeah. I'm sorry, but if I have a... I have 
have an Once oven. Once it's off, it's like turning the fire and gas off. If There's I have an there. oven and a microwave, you're right. I am cooking in my oven. Before I, I ever cook in a microwave. Or an air fryer. Yeah. I use the air fryer. The way that it tastes. Well, I don't. That's not. The, the <laughs> microwave is for like more like soups or shit. Like that. Heat up no, it's to the warm is things open. up. It's not yeah. to cook in. Usually, it yeah, takes up yeah, so much space. How does an air fryer take up so much space? Look at the stove and the oven. It's the, it, it, <laughs> yes, but the stove actually has more than one purpose. A microwave There's is three so things in you one. You can make almost anything with an air fryer. Almost anything. Yeah, I mean... Almost anything, and you yeah. can't, you can't. The bigger the air fryer, I still like my fried chicken. And I'm not gonna lie. Stuff you, can put in. you cannot put <laughs> you fried chicken and air fry it. Yes, you can. No, you cannot. It's already no, 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 no. It's no, it's no, no. You have never, Jer, Jer, Jer. You have like never so tasted nothing. my fried chicken ever. Okay. Wait until that day. Yeah. And you then you tell me if you want it? me to put it in, in there. The air fryer, that's yeah. all you, uh, we use it for, basically. It's all different food. Yes. Like, we don't use the microwave or the stove or this and that. Stove and all that stuff makes the whole house hot. It, it tastes about the same as the air fryer. Obviously, you never tried it in the air fryer. I've tried it. Oh, then you should know. I, I put my fish in the air fryer yeah. with a little bit of onion. Yeah, that works. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's great. But my fried chicken it's that cannot that, go that in the air fryer unless it's cold. Okay. Like it has to be fried first. It can be cold in the in there. And you can put it in there to warm it up. Yeah. But you can't fry my fried chicken in an air fryer. What are you, you saying? Take a raw chicken and throw it in the air fryer? No. Well, candy. raw Let's chicken go. and you bread it, things like that, and then you let it thaw first, then and then throw it in there. You're yeah. saying with breading an egg and shit and throw it in the air fryer? Yeah, you no, can do I don't that. Know about that. No, you can't like, do like, that. Put bread in there. You can like what? I mean, that's what I'm talking. No, I mean the you point of the matter is, is, is it's not I mean, putting I've never bread. Heard you put bread in there, but you can. It's taking the chicken, seasoning it, dredging it, you and put then the chicken in first, and then towards the end you put the bread. In. That's how you put nah. it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then the bread. That's nah, the well, you, but you I can't do it. I can't do it. Even my chicken wings get fried twice. You get rid of all that dripping in the, in the beginning, and then you put the bread in after you. That's what I'm saying. That, you can pull it off. It's I've never heard anything. Fried chicken twice? Most of them are No, my chicken wings. My chicken. Sorry. I don't think you're supposed to do that. It's not, it's not, uh, listen. It's not going to be as good as it's supposed to be. Trust me, it's even fried. better. Listen. You put in five to ten chicken wings. You put them in the fryer for 15 minutes. You take them out for five minutes and let them rest. Listen, on a um, air rack, or a rack. Then you put them back in for five minutes, and they're the crispiest, most juiciest, tastiest chicken wings you've ever had in your life. I gotta be. I gotta be the truth. You better be the truth. <laughs> Because he's gonna try that and if it doesn't work, he's gonna be upset. <laughs> Can we, like, get some chicken wings? I don't know, they have nothing to safely cook grease in. I do. What? You don't have nothing to safely cook grease in? Not really, you gotta have it at a certain temperature to flare no, up the flames. No, listen, no. That big pot... The people burn their house down. Even the, the, the pan. pan. You don't need the that pan... With the <laughs> handle and the holder on it, I could make chicken wings in there. You don't leave the kitchen. That's which, the which, what are you going to do? Never mind. You'll which see. Pan, well, what? well, you can leave the kitchen if you're frying chicken. You I have I have a great pan for frying, pot for frying chicken, sweetheart. Yeah, but he's, he's talking about that grease. You know, no, you eat that grease up. You got to get it where it's No, 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 no. And then that chicken can know. start on fire at about 600. Could, you want it about 500. And then 600, it can go in the flame. So... That's why I'm That's why you don't leave the reason. kitchen. That's why you learn. Outside, that's why you have yeah. patience and hey, watch things. You what would you do if your, kitchen, your whole kitchen's on fire and a grease fire? Um, um, that's closet. about the only What's thing that? at all. Who, who doesn't what, pay what attention? What kind of fire can that extinguisher take out? Exactly. Well, it'd have to be a grease fire. Kitchen. But I think I'm not sure. You use either baking soda or a cover or a fire extinguisher. I know what I'm doing. Yeah. I, I have two kids and one was a fire starter. Uh, no, we, can, we, can later today make, we can later today make some weed, but I'm going to have to eat grease. Then we ain't going to be able to use it. There's so many different ways to do it. I thought you were going to. 
I don't know. You didn't give me money. I am when you're ready. Yeah, he's bad. You sit here and get you high and look at you know, and I'm really down. He, he went from here all the way down to here, and then I went from here. Why are you asking me for money? You guys are like. Correct. This is for you, darling. Both we all win. Yeah, well. Like, I don't what do you want? each other um, wrong. I'm gonna need some of uh, along the some some of the things that you're probably shit, get me the turkey sandwich again. I thought it was pretty accurate. I don't know. And, oh yeah, uh, it was. It really was. I don't know if you got anything like that. Uh, uh, <laughs> Alright, so let's go to the you activate your hips and push your ass out Got a brother rolling this so bad I'm about to pass out Wanna dig you? And I can't even lie about it Baby, just alleviate your clothes I'm the fly about it, catch you at the club Your hips have got me feeling Body talking quick to me But I can't comprehend the meaning Now if you wanna roll with me